evening and welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative, stay home and craft. My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and, uh, and we're hanging out together and doing a bit of doodling. Doodle, doodle, bit of doodling. Is anybody there apart from me? Let's have a look, shall we? And uh, hopefully Stuart is in the, um, in the building with you. Ask Stuart because Paul's on telly, you know. He's on Create and Craft this morning at 11 o'clock and at 3 o'clock doing the Pergamano lessons. So if you're a groover and you're into your parchment craft, then that's the place to be at 11 o'clock. But today, now, we're hanging out and we're doodling a bird. So is anybody there? Yeah, hello, come on in. I hope that the sound is good. Stuart says it is. If you have any questions, he's your man. Um, yeah. Lovely, lovely sunny day today, isn't it? We got up really early in the morning and came into work and across the forest, um, the Ashdown Forest, because we live in Crowborough, but the, the business is in, um, in Edenbridge. It's a really lovely run, whether you go over the forest or along the Ladies' Mile, and they're lovely names, right? So we cut across the Ladies' Mile. I mean, there's a lot of roadworks here and there and everywhere, but at six in the morning, it's just so beautiful and the bird song and the sun shining and the mist. Ah, oh, it's just amazing. And the lambs. Yeah, it's good to be alive. There we are. And so what more appropriate than doing our little birds on the wing? You know, these cut card kits that Dave makes for us. These are the, um, these are the, the sets, but that are, they come without the stamps because we're doodling so but they come and there are so many in here it's a really substantial set and you get different sizes right so you get different sizes of stand and you get different sizes of blank bird top quality card several people have asked several people have asked why we don't give you the die it costs a fortune to make a die that size and and not everybody's got a die cutting machine. We have got the little ones on the water though. Oh yeah. Yeah, the smaller we have, because they're affordable, you know. And I think this is a far more, um, yeah, it's a far more economic way to go for you. Far more economic way to go for you. And also we make these in England. They don't have to come from China. That all those things are, are being factored in now, you know. Life is changing, business is changing, and we're just going with the flow. And if we can, if we can control the supply chain, then we're in with a shout. So there you go. So these are available and they're really cool, really cool. And that's what we were doodling, weren't they? So you've got three different sizes. Let's have a look. So that we can get together and do this, doodle this. So we've got one, two, that's the little one. That's the medium one. And then you've got the largest one as well. So you've got three different sizes. Yeah. And what we were doing, we were working on the largest one. And the good thing about these is, of course, they come in their, they come in their sheet, in their protective sheet. So that's quite interesting as well for the average crafter because you've got a stencil, got a mask and a stencil, positive and a negative. It's good. So what we were doing... We, would do, we doodled the wings, didn't we, with these nice flowers. And I was just showing you, this is the bottom. This, this is the undercarriage of the bird, if you like. And just to recap, what we'd done is, this is the underneath that's going to fold in. So if you take this now, if we pop this out just for the sake of argument, let's just pop this out of here. Okay, let me just pop it out. Right. So you see, you get that bit as well, which is handy. Um... Right. So when you when you do this, this folds like that. So this is the undercarriage. See, and then that folds like that and that folds like that. So so what we're doing at the moment is we're working on that side. These are the flowers. And then that is the wing. See, so this is where we're at at the moment. It's all good, isn't it? So let's doodle for an hour and then just make a little note. We've got um, Paul on 11 o'clock on Create and Craft, then at three o'clock again, 
And then at five o'clock, there's a cheeky little hour at five o'clock where he showcases some fabulous dyes. Because he said, well, if I'm already up there and they invited him to do an extra show, he said, let me do it. So I'm not sure whether it's on the main channel or on Craft Extra. That I'm not sure. But what's very clever now on Create and Craft, they've managed to do it because they've got two channels, you see, which is really worth knowing. But because they've been having some IT issues, they were reluctant to introduce the red button system until they knew that it was absolutely bulletproof. Hopefully, it should be good. Yesterday, I heard it was working. So what it is, is you can watch, say you're watching the main channel, Create and Craft, and then you think, I wonder what's on on Craft Extra. All you've got to do is press the red button that's on the screen and it will flick you over to the other channel. And then maybe you'll like what's over there better. I think what's happening is that the, the, the Craft Extra channel, it's not an also ran channel. It's more the niche, the, um, the rather than the bigger companies, the smaller companies, the more specialized companies, the quilting, the embroidery um, and us. You know, we're, in, we're, we're there's a lot of what we do that is very niche. So we're, we're happy to be represented over there as well, you know. So there you go. So check it out on Create and Craft. See if the red button works. And then you'll find out whether so Paul is either, I don't know, je ne sais pas. Oh, he's on the main channel. Thank you, Stuart. He's on the main channel. But what's good to know, it's good to know there's a little red button on the screen that you can ping over to the other side because you never know. It's choices, choices, choices. It's good, isn't it? Right, come on, uh, let's get cracking. And just so you know as well, right, our Ukraine, our Ukraine cards and our UK, Ukraine charity drive, you know, do you remember you bought the stamps, you bought the stamps, you're buying the stamps, you're buying the stamps, you're buying the groovy plate. I've got to do this because this isn't, this ain't going anywhere, is it, this Ukraine crisis? Shocking, shocking, shocking. So what we do is all proceeds, all profit from this goes to the Red Cross. So you can buy the stamps or you can buy the groovy plate. And then what I said, so look, 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 looky, looky. So here's one of my birds, my Ukraine bird. Make art, not war, right? This is, this is a nice one. This is what you can do with these, with these cutouts. Isn't that fabulous? Right, so... Um, then I suggested that you make cards that we can then give to charities to sell. That's a big job at the moment. And we're, that's what we're working on at the moment. And I spoke to Pete yesterday, our accountant, and he said that we're edging up on £1,800 already. The money that you've been putting in £5 here and £10 there and £20, because we've also got a button, a Just Giving button, to go straight to the Red Cross. We've got, it's almost like a product on our website and you can donate there as well. And of course, 100% of that money goes and we're edging up. I said, wait till we get to 2,000 and then transfer 2,000 pounds to the Red Cross. So we're edging up on that. This is good, you know, this is a phenomenal um, charity drive that you, you're you doing, we're just the platform, right? We're just the platform, we're just doing the job. And you've got to know that it's 100% of your money is going to the Red Cross. And so as soon as it hits 2,000, that'll be the next 2,000 going. Isn't that great? Well done. You know, we're a very, very giving nation. There's no doubt about it. Okay. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right. And should we get started? Cup of tea. Jazz in the building here. Our designer. Beautiful designer, beautiful work, fantastic cup of tea. I've never met anyone that makes a cup of tea like Jazz. It's quite a strong brew. But <laughs> I don't know what it's doing for my teeth. It's quite, it's quite powerful. Now that'll grow hairs on your teeth. Look at that. <laughs> it tastes so good. I said, what is it? What is it that you do that makes your tea so fa fantastic? Not much milk. I think that's the trick and lets it steep for ages. But it's lovely. You really know you're drinking tea. <laughs> right, come on. Crack on, crack on. Don't need much. You need a bird. And, you know, I said, if you, if you haven't got the bird shape, oh, do you know, just take a piece of card, but be inclusive. 
you know, it's the pattern that's lovely. And I'm just doodling along, doing my, my own design, which I love. I think it's nice. I love this flower, right? So we've done it in pencil. And what we did was, remember this is the undercarriage. Look, I'll turn it around this way. We put the flowers in first, like that, didn't we? Lightly, you could put a flower there if you want, like that, or not. And then once we did the flowers, see, I quite like this idea that the beak, let's have a look here, that the beak comes down like that. I, I, it's only my opinion, but I feel that often um, when you actually try to put a beak in and a bird's face, it, it's not so, it's not as arty, but it's, you know, that's, that's what I feel. Yeah. I mean, do I put a beak in? Could do. Don't know. Yeah, I could. I mean, I could put a line in like that. It's not exactly extreme, is it? But there you go. I just think, you know, it's obviously the beak, isn't it? It's not the tail feathers. So sometimes you can leave a little bit to the imagination. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. There you go. Right. So then what you're going to do, we'll put the flowers in first, though. Let's do the, you ready for a couple of flowers again? Let's do, let's do one side. Just to, should we do this? Or what's the time? Five past. We know what we're doing here, don't we? Should we do the, let's do the front end. Oh, come on. I know, I know. Listen, this here is just more of the same. Exactly. The only thing that I've added to it is that I've started my swirl like a beak, like that. Okay, so that's the first swirl. There you go, look, see, like that. And then you add your, your leaves, don't you? Off you go, right? There we are. Good idea to put the flowers in first. This is all stuff we've already done. Ready? Look, just in case you're new, you use the circle that you drew. We're going to do it again on the other side anyway, like that. So this is it. It's easy once you get the drift. There you go. And then you do the infill on the flowers. La, 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 la. And then you build your flowers and then you do that. And that's how you end up with that once you've inked it. Right. Now let's turn it over and let's do the wings. Are we up for that? Yes. Let me put my other glasses as well and actually read what you're saying. Do you like my hair? I have my hair cut. Karen did it. My friend Karen. She's a brilliant hairdresser. Brilliant woman best mate. She um, she was my bridesmaid, my maid of honour at my wedding as well. It's because someone else has made it. Always tastes better. As it's made with love. Oh, he's talking about the tea. Absolutely. Is Jazz making the tea at the open days? Well, Ken, yes, she is. <laughs> Good question. Love strong tea. Are we on the tea or are we on the birds? <laughs> i tell you what, we do have a lot in common, don't we? You know, <laughs> we sure do have a lot in common, ladies and Ken. Right. OK. Now we're doing. We're doing this part of the bird. Let me show you on this one, because I think this is the easiest way to show you. So what we what we did before was the back part. This hang on. That bit there is that bit there. So it's folded up. And this bit is this bit here. Got it? Bosh, like that. So this is why we're doing this and this. That's why the eyes are on this side. And now on the inside, this is going to be left blank for a, the card. It's a card, isn't it? It's a card we're making. It's just a three-dimensional card. Believe you me, the recipient will never throw it away. Right, now we're on the inside. So what we're doing now is the wings, and we're leaving this bit blank. Got it? Cool. So let me show you... Where well, it's just an idea as we were coming across the forest this morning, coming into work. Dave started humming, yeah, it's a tune, he's the muso, isn't he? And he started humming the um, Cat Stevens, you know, morning is morning has broken like the first morning, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song, you know it, right. There you go. Now you've got a little earworm for the day. You'll be humming it all day. Feel good song. And I thought to myself, I thought, ah, oh, 
you know when we do the writing on our artwork i thought wouldn't that be a beautiful um sentiment and so then i i thought ah okay right this is the way my mind works so around this bit here around the wing and i've already done it because i thought if i did it it it's easier for you to see so i've written look morning has broken like the first morning closes up blackbird has spoken like the first bird see so when you look at the top now you've got your writing of the i mean the verse is just glorious i wrote down a couple of the other lines as well sweet the rain's new fall sunlit from heaven like the first dew fall on the first grass i mean these are just wonderful wonderful words so you could write sweet the rain's new fall sunlit from heaven like the first dew fall on the first grass you could write because these are these are one-offs aren't they they're not they're not the stamped version they're the doodled version so you can doodle anything you fancy any verse you might have a beautiful um the kiss of the sun for pardon the song of the birds for mirth you're nearer god's heart in the garden than anywhere else on earth so you could write that couldn't you it's yours so i thought we'd write the words here and of course what we have to do is straddle it so let's break it down because when you look at a blank canvas like this it's quite um sometimes it's quite overwhelming you know and the truth of it is let me make sure i'm working on the right one yeah yeah and you know what else i'm going to do i am because <laughs> this is my art my art my art and what i'm going to do is find a piece of copy paper let me just find a piece of copy paper the reason i'm doing this this is rather a big piece of copy paper but i'm going to lay my artwork down on it because it's when i start moving it around you can see look at all the dirt on the see that's it you can see already here where it's got a bit scuffy where i've been moving it on the other side and i don't want to spoil i don't want to spoil that so what i'll do is i'll put it on a on a cushion and then i'll move the cushion around little things i just thought of that but it makes total sense right so morning has broken like the first morning we're going to put the words in first and then i'll then you put the flowers in can you see this okay can't i can't let me just see if you tell me if you can see it okay or whether i should come in a little bit see on my screen this looks huge a huge right i'm going to put the right in around here have you got these pencils i'll tell you what we don't use much in the shack these are worth investing in and yes we sell them and then the other thing worth investing in is a pack of these micron pens so this sounds a bit like Sally Telly now, but <laughs> right, you ready? So while you're treating yourself to a pack of these, why not add these and these to your basket? You know it makes sense. <laughs> right. Okay, joke's over. It's already quarter past Barbara and you're still waffling. Oh, and don't forget, everybody needs a pencil sharpener, and we happen to have these as well. <laughs> Faber Castell. Let's sh sharpen the pencil. These are really good, you know. Joking aside, these are very good. Okay, let's get started. Is it can can't see it very well, Pat Coombs. All a bit white. Well, okay. It's it's because it's white card. Right, as that is that better? Of course, it's all white. <laughs> We've got to start somewhere. There you go. Is that a bit better? So what we'll do is we'll make a line so that we know, so we don't career off, and then we're going to air write. Air write means we're going to write in the air. We're not actually going to touch the paper. 
So let's do this. Let's just make, that will help you do that. And then, and then on this side as well, we'll carry on. Okay. That'll do. That just gives you a little bit of a, what have we got here? That's better. Thank you. You're welcome, Pat. Can you see it now? Right, let's write, you're going to write the words in first. So we're going to air write. I'm going to write, morning has broken like the first morning along here. Right, ready? Off we go. So I've got to write it in the air first so I get my size right. Morning has broken. So if I get to there and I, I've got morning has broken like the first right and then i've got to get morning in more that'll do right so morning has broken like the first morning i need to be done with broken by the time i get halfway up the wing <laughs> you ready all righty and try not to, it's the script writing you know when we do that script writing where you don't come up for air i mean that's my writing anyway but let's try the script writing Right, here we go. Morning has, oh, broken like the first. And now around we come. Morning. Lovely. That worked. Morning has broken. Like the first morning, blackbird has spoken. Like the first bird, right? Ready? Right, here we go. Black turning bird has spoken. Like the first. Bird. There you go. Bingo. So you commit. That's the word. Just got to commit. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Done. Bingo. Good. I'm letting you catch up now. Morning has broken. Make sure you got the spelling right. Like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Now we've done that. Now what we're going to do, because you've got to consider, right, that what we're doing is we're closing it like that. We're closing it. So let me just show you so that you get where we're going to put the flowers. So when you turn it around like this, symmetrical, right, away from the edge, away from the edge, for obvious reasons. Otherwise, you're going to have two flowers sitting on top of one another when you close it. Not so good, right? Just logical. You see where I rubbed it out, where I went wrong. <laughs> and that's why, my friends, the bus driver is always one, one step ahead of you because that didn't work, right? Then it looks like he's got something wrong with his shoulders and the flower can't overlap because it's crushing another flower. All right, so here we go. These two are fine. Then we'll put two there. Then we put another two there, another two, two there, right? So it is symmetrical, but not, if you know what I mean, because obviously this is looks the same, but it's not, right? So we put two flowers there, we'll put two in there. So we're going to go out, in, out, outer. Right, let's do that. Okay. Uh, turn it around. Because we're only working on the wings. Yeah. Oh, flat. Glasses on, glasses off. Right. So here, so you're going to put two on the, in the, in the, nestle them in here, there. One there and one there. Okay, like that. Then we're going to come in a little bit, but not into the, so we'll put one there and one there. Okay, so that way when it folds in, they're not going to hit each other. That'll do. Then we'll go out. So we'll put... One here and one there. Sort of symmetry. 
you see this all right? I know I'm, I'm going lightly because I don't want to. And then we'll put a little rinky dink one down the bottom like that. That'll do. Nice. See, because then what we're going to do, so you've got one there, one there, one there, and one there. Right. And then we'll hold it over like that. Well, in a minute, you see, when you put your flowers in and you start doing your, you've got enough room to cut across. See, whichever way you go, whether you cut that way or you cut that way. So you can draw into the center, which looks pretty, doesn't it? See? I could even go in like that. It doesn't matter, right? But what does matter is when you close it, there's a continuum. I think that looks so nice because what we're looking for is a connection between the two wings. See? With the stamps, I didn't do it, but you understand where I'm coming from. Yeah? You just stamp like that. All right. So let's do the flowers, shall we? Centers. Centers. There we go. It's going to be lovely. Centers in the center. Duh. Nice. I think the early morning run from home to the office. Right up, over, like that, like that. Let's do both at the same time because we're going to keep turning it. So you might as well do both wings at the same time. Um, it really was quite uplifting, you know. Such a beautiful time of year. When the sun's shining, there's nothing quite like it, is there? And it just made me feel glad to be alive, really. I got that sense and, and, and it's been lacking in my life for quite a long time now with, with everything going on. There's a lot of fear mongering, a lot of negativity. And I just felt this morning, just, I don't know, not euphoria, I'm not euphoric, that would be delusional, but just a, a sense of positive, positivity and nature, nature just, overrides all of it you know it's 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 quite amazing how how there we go there's another little flower um just you watch the trees and the birds and the and it's just all going on regardless of what humans are doing to each other and what we're managing to you know it, they just keep coming back every year I was listening to um to a report on the radio. I think it was Radio Four yesterday, and it was about uh, it was a lady who she was talking about the Swifts, the migration of the Swifts. They're all coming back in from Africa now, and she waits every year. And she said the other day she saw the big the murmuration, you know, coming through again. They're coming back. And you think, well, thank God for that, you know, because we are always hearing less and less birds, less and less, we're killing their habitat, where are they going to go, you know. Oh, do you know what, we've? I know why the flowers look a bit weird, we haven't put the daisy bit in them, doesn't that look better? There we are, of course, I thought it looked a bit strange, we haven't put the lovely daisy centres in. Yeah, so we're we're constantly being told, and it's not wrong. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it's it's not true, but that you know we're killing the habitats and we're de destroying um, nature, and you know, blah, blah, blah. and then and yet it's it still runs its cycles. It's it's doing its thing albeit a little bit later now, apparently they were saying that like birds are, are laying their eggs two months earlier now because of the global warming. They're adapting. That's quite uh, interesting too. You know, the animals are figuring it out. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So 
But I think what I'm trying to say in my own clumsy way here is get positive, you know, look to the garden, look to the flowers, look to the birds, look to the animals. You know, think of five positive words while we're doing this. Come on, we can make these flowers in our sleep now. Um, think of think of five positive words. Come on. I'm going to get a big piece of paper. Uh, bright. When you look out of your window, what have we got? Bright. Come on, give us a couple more. What else have we got? Fresh, I like. Come on, we'll fill this page. Bright, fresh. What else have we got? Stuart, you're going to have to help me out here because I can't see the screen and draw flowers. What are our friends telling us? We've got bright. We've got fresh. We've got... I could think of five off the top of my head, but I want you to help me. There we are. Flowers in first. Bright, fresh, warm, crisp. What we got? Beauty. I can see them now. Beauty, green. Here they come. Grateful. Grateful's gorgeous. Cool, you could do a whole alphabet from A to Z, couldn't you? New. That's a lovely word. New. I could just see that one over the top on the glasses. New. There we go. Got our flowers in. That's it, you see. It's about, um, got to get out of this gloom, haven't we? Because being gloomy, it won't help anything. It doesn't change a damn thing, you know. All it does is make your life unhappy and perhaps those around you, you know. I can only speak for myself, but this COVID, this last two years has really taken its toll on my joy, I think. I don't know, I'm full of anxiety and, and worry and fear. And I, it's the wrong bus to be on. It's just the wrong bus, I think. So it's about, right, so if that's that, right, we're going to close that up, then this has got to join up now. Right, so we've got the flowers in. So you could do, uh, this would be beautiful as well, on the inside of the bird, you could take all these beautiful words and you could just write all through, like, like a whole montage of positivity, you know, that would be gorgeous, bright, fresh, beautiful, green, grateful, new, I mean these are bright, fresh, adjectives, adjectives, adjective, Bright, fresh, green, bright. Now, now we're all adjectives. There we are. That was the only odd. Spot the odd one out. Beautiful now. We've got an adjective going. Bright, fresh, beautiful, green, grateful, new. Yeah. Mm, warm. Warm. Mm. So you could fill the whole bird, couldn't you? Like if you did a background like that, this kind of mottled background like that, wouldn't that look beautiful? Just lovely words all over it. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to break the cycle, friends. We've got to break the cycle. And at the moment, the cycle is negative. We're on a negative roll. And I'm not saying we're all going to get happy clappy. I'm not saying that. It's, it's, you know, we know what's going on. But does that affect you now in your soul in your day right let's do this let's get a few of these going now i'm not going to copy what i've got i'm going to put that one away because what happens is you try and copy it and then it never works out right i've got the idea so what we're going to do now 
we've got the leaves coming, haven't we? So we've got to make swirls. Swirl. This would be a good one. And then I think I, I want to come in on... See, I want to come in into the... A little bit. Not loads. But that'd be quite nice. I'll leave a bit of a gap there. There we are. So we could let's go that way. And then we can come round there. And then oh that one went a bit wrong. Don't matter. No one's gonna notice. <laughs> Here we are. Do a little one at the end. Right, so we've got our swirls on that side. And we put the swirls on this side, shall we? Have a look what we've got going on there. Right, come on, swirly time. Swirls. Now, if we're going to bring that together, I'll take this out now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, hello. Get the stuck. That's it. Okay, we're out. So if that goes like that, I've got to do this just to make sure that I get this right. So that's all folded right. That's going to go like that, and that's going to go like that. Right, we're on it now. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, let's get that out of the way, because now we're going to do the joins, see? So I've got to have it like that, really, otherwise it's more difficult. So that one there, it runs under there, but that's fine. So this one could go like that, and this one. Do you see what I'm doing? So that one there, if we do that, then this one could come. Yeah, why not? Let's bring this one round like that and bring it through like that. Way, hey! And then we can bring that one round like that. See? And then this one now has got a... Well, there you go. Who says? And this one can be just a floater like that. Or, because it's in pencil and we have that control, let me take that away, that one, okay, because that was a bit manky. It's all right. And then what we'll do is we'll go like that instead. There, like a big S. And then once you start putting your leaves on it, it's going to look beautiful. See? Voila. Nice, nice, nice. Don't rush the leaves though, Greg, because they start to look like pods rather than lovely leaves. Pointed leaves were on on this one, remember? But I think we need the, the swirls best. Let's get the swirls in. And they want to kind of be the same distance. So let's do them first, shall we? Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying this one? I really like this. Kalinis said she really liked this design. She sent me a private message saying it would make a fantastic groovy plate. Oh, well, yeah, probably would, wouldn't it? It probably would. This pattern, hey? That pattern? That'd make a lovely groovy plate. Well, consider it done, Glynis. There you go. There we go. So then we're going to come out from that one. We join. You see the flowers? Wee, that looks a bit weird. Don't overthink it, is what I say. Don't overthink it, Gray. Let's bring one in from that side. Got a little one coming in there. We've got one coming around like that. And let's not overthink it. Got one there. We can bring that one in like that. That's lovely. Here we go. Don't overthink it, Gray. That do. That one can come around there if you feel like it. So when you look at it like that, that's leaning over that way. That tessellates. And you go like that. And that tessellates too. Wonderbar. When you open it up, it looks quite nice there too. And then this one here, which is a little bit weird, you could just do a little, there you go. Bingo. And then the bee, you could really bring that bee in like that. And you've got a lovely tail there anyway. Cool. Are we happy with that? And now come the leaves. Okay, sharpener at the ready. 
See, if you want to, you could put that back if you want to. But I don't, I don't think I need it now. I think we're off that. We're over that. We got the eyes. Yeah, that's, in, that's important. Got the eye on that one as well. I'm going to still do the flowers and the leaves on that side and on that side. But I wanted today to talk to you about this bit because I thought that was worth doing. Hey? And it, you know what? If you wanted to, you could come back. You could come in here. Look, you can. It depends what you want to do. You can come all the way through like that. Look, put a couple of twirls in there. If you feel it's a little bit naked in the middle, depends what you want to say. Hmm? Of course you can. Do what you like. It's your bird. But at the moment, we're putting the leaves in. Right, so sharpen that pencil to get a good leaf. Oh, Barbara. How are you doing? I've been really busy this week. Right, can we have a break for a minute? Oh, God, another clapper's here. Oh, neck. Neck stretch. Come on. Have a bit of a neck stretch. Come on, this is supposed to be yoga for the mind. Um, not supposed to break your neck doing it. Got a lot going on in my neck at the moment. Like left and right. Ah, oh, stretch. That's better. Yeah, we're doing a bit of a re, a re, having a rethink about the business at the moment. Because, again, you know, we've all kind of day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year now, We've been being guided down this road, right, of fear and anxiety. And, you know, we've said it so many times. It's one layer after another after another. Started with COVID and then, well, Brexit, COVID, then, you know, COVID, then more COVID, then fear and more COVID and then isolation and the NHS and then, uh, and then you've got beer gate and wine gate and all that going on. So then the government, you know, all that rubbish. And then, oh, and then we've got an economic and then we've got heating. And now I'm reading, oh, we're going to be starving or freezing to death. And it's like, for crying out loud, you know. So we've been doing this. And, and from a business point of view, there's this death for economy, death for the economy, okay, because everybody's frightened and and so, and even within our own little business, what's been happening is, you know, we lost half our staff, we had to make half of the people redundant, and then we were moving, weren't we? We moved from one building into another building, then we had both buildings, we had both rents, half the people, chaos, boxes everywhere. It's really, really not good, right? But front of house, just keep going, keep going, keep going. And so this last week, we've said, right, I said, who's we? <laughs> the royal we said, right, stop the train. Stop the train. Uh, we need to sort this out because we're on the wrong track. And we've we stopped doing things and we put things on ice like the rest of the world, like you, everybody. You know, we froze everything. And I said, we need to reignite a few things. We had so many brilliant ideas. We were going to have a shop. And then the shop, because we weren't allowed to get together, we couldn't do the shop. We weren't allowed to be in the shop. We weren't allowed. So it's like, so to, yesterday we sat down and we made a plan to reignite things that we stopped. We stopped different offers. We stopped different events. We stopped different this. We stopped different that. And so now we're starting to flick all the switches on again. Yeah, well, let's reignite that little idea. Let's do that. And let's start small. You know, we've got the capacity to have quite a big shop here, um, like a big factory outlet. And I spoke to Janine and Jim and Paul and Dave. And I said, what about if we try it? It was Jim's idea. Brilliant idea. Let's trial it. Let's see if people want to come here, if they want to have a, um, a factory out there, if we want to do little workshops in at Clarity Towers, you know, because we've got a beautiful boardroom. We could do workshops with eight or ten people. And then we could have a little shop, a little factory outlet. You know, I said, well, well that was always the plan two years ago. And then we flick that switch off. And now we need to flick it back on again. You know? I mean, we're doing the open days. Have you got your tickets yet? Come on. You've got to come. Support, support, support. Saturday the 11th of June and Friday the 10th of June. So it's a month away. This is a great, this is a great day. And it's over in Ditton. And it will be just a wonderful opportunity for us all to get together again. 
okay? We need the support as well. I'm not going to dress it up, you know, but it will be a really good day out and, and everybody's going to be there. Linda Williams, she's coming down from Wales. Tina Cox coming down from London. I think Josie Davis is coming down from the northern. Sam Crow's coming down. They need to drive together, really, save petrol, you know. And so everybody's converging. Glynis, Lou Withers, I was talking to Lou yesterday about what make and take she's going to do. Jane's doing a groovy make and take, you know. All the team are all converging on, on this place to entertain you. So you've got to come, haven't you? And yes, Jazz is making the tea. And Lisa, the other designers, making the sandwiches. Yeah, so it'll be great. It'll be lovely, lovely, lovely. But it's not going to work if you don't come. And I know that there won't be as many people as last time. That's fine, though, because there were so many. And we, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. We've already got a goodly number. Really, we do. Um, but it would be lovely to have a few more. The car park can take it. And then we're going to fire up the, the factory outlet here. I think I'll let you know when that's happening. There's so many things. I think what happens is, as individuals, as businesses, and you will totally understand what I'm saying here, we've forgotten what we were doing. We were forgotten what, what, what journey we were on, what personal journey we were on, you know, because you, everything got switched off. Now you've got to go back two years and think, what was it I was doing? Where, where, where was I? What was my plan? I mean, we, we're scheduled to go to New York at the end of this month. And I, I must say, I am anxious. I am a little worried about places. I haven't been on a plane. And you know me, if you do know me, I was on planes right, left and centre. I was always flying around, travelling, globetrotter, you know. I haven't been to the house in New Mexico for nearly three years. Three years. My oh, God. Huh? And now we're going to New York, which is a baby step for me as far as flying goes. So Dave and I are going to do this and go and see Grace, you know. So younger people, I feel as well, like Grace and Mark and... They're much better equipped at, you know, getting the PCR test sorted because it's all app, 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 isn't it? You've got to get the COVID pass. You've got to get this. Now, unless you're computer literate, unless you're very, very savvy with, a, with an iPhone, you're stuffed. You know, download this, do that, get a PDF, blah, 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 you know. I mean, I worked it out and I felt a great sense of achievement working it out. But you really got to know you. You've got to know your stuff to be able to, you know, Older people are kind of hitting a wall on this, aren't we? You know, we'll send you confirmation in a text. Well, that'd be handy for my mum and dad. They haven't even got a mobile phone. You know? So anyway, what we're doing, what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to put a positive spin because I think we've been going in the wrong direction. And now it's time to turn it around, people, and start thinking, you know, about... Despite your, my natural, I can only speak for myself, my natural um, response to getting on a plane and going to New York is, oh, no, right? Well, that's not, that's not good. I've got to, despite that, I've got to get over it. You know, it was like when Steve and Sheila, they bought us theatre tickets for London, to go up to London. And as soon as I opened this Christmas present, which was so generous and so lovely, I was filled with fear. I was like, oh, no, that means I've got to get on a train. That means I've got to go to London, you know. Like, get over it, Gray. Do it. Just JFDI. JFDI. So I JFDI'd it with Dave, hand in hand. We had the best day. It was beautiful. London needs that. London needs that. Virgin Airlines needs it. New York needs it. Clarity needs it. We have to keep going, you know, and do what we enjoy and what we love doing. The young people are on it. It's us older people that are more, I don't know whether we're, we'd like to think that we're just more cautious, but we're also more fearful. That's the truth of it. And I think I'm 63. I've got to keep, you know, I've still got a few. There's still a few years left in the old nag. I can't I can't just sit in my garden now at 63 and think that's it. Nice as the garden is, I think I need to keep going a little bit longer. And who's with me on this? 
I'm off on my first holiday in five years next week to sunny Dorset. See? Oh, how weird. We were talking about the Jurassic Coast. Right, I've got to tell you this. Okay, we'll, we'll do some doodling and I'll tell you this. So, you know I do pottery. Jurassic Coast. This is so strange. Lyme Regis, right, Ken? Lyme Regis. Lyme Regis. So, let's see. We, get, we can do the leaves and do this at the same time. So this morning, Dave and I, this is so weird that you'd be going there. I've got a job for you, Ken. You need to do this for me. Right, you're listening carefully. Okay. So I'm developing a style of, of pottery that I really like. And, and of course, in doing so, you see other pottery and you see other, other masters work. Like I really like the Japanese art i love i love the japanese pottery i just love the the, the the shape of the japanese bowls and 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 we went to um a glind glind place down in sussex there was the uh, pot fest which is a it was a couple of weeks ago and it's a ceramic festival so we went to the pot fest and i bought a piece uh, which I just I just loved, and it was not functional. It's not a bowl. You can't use it. It's absolutely non-functional. This piece of artwork, but I bloody loved it. And what it is, <laughs> fortunately, it's about that long, okay. And it's it's just it looks like a sword, like a rusty old sword, and it's in a plinth. It is it absolutely no use to man or beast. Right, but it's this rusty black grey thing. Looks like old iron, like it could have come out of a forge. But when you look closely at it, and here comes the Jurassic coastline, it's got like fossils. It it's got fossils and um, ammonite, like sh in it. But I was so anyway. I bought it for a lot of money, and not not a lot of money. I w I wouldn't want to make it for that. I couldn't make it. There you go. There's the answer. But I've sat it in the living room where I where I sit in the evenings, and so every evening I'm staring at this long, this 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 thing. It's like a yeah, like a sword, and I'm staring at it. Let's see if I can find it on my phone. And while I'm I'm sure I've got a picture of it. Just bear with. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right, look. Okay, so here's my little homage to pottery look cup of tea <laughs> see that thing look can you see it and can you see the see the in the in, in, well it's like embossed and then some of it is overlaid you see so i've been staring at it it's it's amazing look it's got these sort of i don't know if you can see that anyway i love it i just think it's amazing that's i made that Ah, oh, yeah, I made that and I made the bowls and then I bought these little pinch pots as well, which I really love. Hang on, get the pinch pots going. Look at these pinch pots. They're so easy, so beautiful. And they're so wafer thin because pinch pots are usually quite chunky. So I thought, right, that's it. So I spent quite a bit of money really on these things because you have to support, you know, it's no good saying, oh, I could make that. It's like, well, yeah, but these people did make it. And so out of in deference to them, you have to support their art, you see? Anyway, so that's where I spent my money. And I've been staring at this obelisk thing, right? <laughs> and and um, I'll tell you what, if things get desperate enough, I'm going to sell that lamp stand as well and the bowl. Um, so I've been staring at this obelisk, this, this thing. And this morning I woke up. It's funny, the mind is a strange thing. It works at night, I think. At night, it compartmentalizes everything that you've been dealing with during the daytime. And obviously, yesterday evening, I was looking at my, my little homage to pottery, and I was looking, this is lovely, look. I was looking at how he got this, this texture onto the clay because it didn't look like clay it doesn't look like clay it looks like iron almost 
So staring, staring, staring. This morning I woke up and I thought, I know. I know exactly how he's done that. Well, this is my guess, right? The, the, the head's processed it during the night. And I think that he's taken a fossil, right? So in the fossil, you have a positive, don't you? And you have a negative. So you have the re relief and then you have the... So if you've got an ammonite, you've got an ammonite that comes out and then you've, where that came out, you know, if this is an egg, then you've got the, the dip of it, you've got the, the relief and you've got the egg, the, that bit. So if that's an ammonite, you go like that, right, split it. This one's con... Uh, convex and this one's concave right it's the concave one if you get an ammonite relief let's pretend right this may be boring to you but to me it's absolutely bloody fascinating say this is a ammonite relief and you've got that amazing fossilized ammonite in there now take a piece of clay roll it out really really thin right because it's not it's not it's not it's not like that it's not that it's like that with tiny relief so roll out a bit of clay, really thin, and then lay it down over the ammonite relief, right? Let it get a bit hard, peel it off, right? And then you've got here, you've got the ammonite in relief, haven't you? Got it? You got it. Then you've got it sticking out a bit. Then you take that and you lay it down, right? Hey, 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 hey. You lay it down on your pottery and then you work it in. Or this is just, I can, I know he's done the back bit, but it's the, it's the overlay bit that I'm interested in, right? So I thought, Ken, <laughs> Dave was straight on eBay looking for ammonite relief fossils for me. They're everywhere. But he actually said, well, we could go down to Lyme Regis and go and find some fossils because you do know that's the Jurassic Park line, the coastline, don't you? And there you are saying exactly the same thing and you're going down there. Because I want, if you could find it, right, it, it's, it's the, the skeletal, it's a skeleton that I'm looking for, like a spine. Anyway, I'll leave it with you, Ken. See what you can come up with, see if you can find. Ken needs a destination too, I know that man. But if you could find something like that, that would be brilliant. Because then I can, I'm going to experiment, see. And that, my friends is how we stay sane as crafters. Aren't we so lucky? You know, that's another thing to put on your list. Creative. There you go. We are so lucky that we are creative, friends. Imagine if you didn't have that side of your brain that you, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm maybe I'm extreme. I don't know. I don't think so, though. I see your work. I see your addiction, your creativity. You never stop. Most of you are the same as me, aren't you? I'm just the bus driver, that's all. But imagine if you didn't have that. I mean, what does that, where does that leave you then? So then you drink, uh, do a bit of gardening, uh, watch telly, watch the news, drink, watch the news. Weather's rubbish, can't go in the garden. See, when the weather's rubbish, I don't know about you, but I think immediately I go, ah, oh, great day for crafting. Can't go out. Oh, let's think. Should I do lino cutting? Should I do mono printing? Should I do card making? You know, and I haven't even started. I haven't even started on quilting and all that yet. I'm waiting with that one. I've got the, the sewing machines are all lined up, waiting patiently for me. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? We're so lucky. You have no idea. Well, maybe you do have an idea, you know. So there you go. What a great, I've loved this session with you. I've loved this session. And I love these, look, isn't this pretty? I mean, how hard is this really? No, it isn't. Look, put little leaves on. There you go. And groovy at 11 o'clock, off to Paul. So I'm going to love you and leave you because it's 5-2, I think. Look, isn't that cool? Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird 
has spoken like the first bird. Just make sure it's spelt right before you ink it. So I'm going to do this. When we meet on Monday, when we meet on Monday, can we agree that we've inked all this and we've done all that as well? Hey, it doesn't even have to be as busy as the wings. If you feel that it's too busy to have a full-blown floral explosion on the side of the bird, you can always tone it down a bit, can't you? But let's come back together and let's, let's say that we've done all the inking. Yeah? Yeah. And we've done the bits there. And then we'll finish it off and we'll put some shading. What do you fancy? Shading or colour? Have a think over the weekend like I do about the Jurassic Park stuff. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Coastline. About the Ammonites and that. See, that's the way my mind works. So while you're thinking over the weekend when you're having a cup of tea and you're looking out at the beautiful weather, because it's supposed to be really nice this weekend, then have a think. Oh, do you want to go grey scale and shading or do you want to add a flash of colour? See, I think a little flash of colour in the background might be really lovely. Keep it simple, though. Got to keep it simple. Kiss. Keep it simple. OK, keep it especially simple. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you now. Now, let me just check. What did I tell you about? I've told you about Paul, 11 o'clock, 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock. That's the most important thing. And then also, don't forget, tomorrow evening, we're having a craft along. We're going to hang out together if you fancy it. And what do you need? You need um, maybe, Stuart, you could just give the link because we're looking at that that block stencil, the five-part block stencil. with the, It was a free, it was a giveaway on, um, on Create and Craft two weekends ago and it's it's a really cool, great stencil um but I, I feel that it needs a little bit of explaining so i thought it'd be an opportunity for us to grab grab a couple of hours together and uh and craft so we're having a craft along at seven o'clock on facebook live which is here basically right and how long does it take i don't know how long is a piece of string so that's at seven o'clock tomorrow evening and then other than that mm, stay positive stay upbeat yeah that's all I have to say. Morning has broken, like the first morning. Have a smash in Friday uh, and a Thursday. It's Thursday today, isn't it? And, uh, and Stuart, thanks for your help, love. And I don't think I've forgotten anything. But other than that, I think we're there, aren't we? Yeah, fabulous. Okay. Lots of love. Be safe. Bye-bye now.